so I introduce you the Duromax 1600 IH. It is overkill for my application. So earlier you saw me show you guys the easy starts. Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. Uh, first I'm just gonna start off showing you guys the easy starts that I installed. I didn't do a how-to on this. There's plenty of these online, but you can see that there. It's on. It's working. Um, I have uh, two three-ton air conditioning units, um, and the peak starting amps right now are at 22, and then when it's running, it's about six amps. And you can see that from the Easy Start app, which significantly reduces starting uh, amps required to turn on the two three-ton air conditioners in my house. In retrospect, I really didn't need to inst install those, but I'm glad I did. It really does make the air compressor start very soft and easy. Um, so that leaves me with an overkill of power on this awesome Duromax 1600 IH. Um, it is incredible. You don't need, you actually don't need soft starts if you use this. It'll eat that up. I might, what I might be planning to do is I might use this at my office and I might just get a 9000 um, uh, Duromax 9000. I don't need 16,000 watts, but the nice thing about this one is that it can actually run in the low, uh, what, do you, what do they call it? The low idle mode and be totally fine through my house. So let's quickly, before we kind of dive deep and I turn it on, um, let me talk about what I have on here. All right, so I got the two, right, the two transfer switches installed. And so what I have is I have my downstairs AC, right? And that's taking up slots A and B. The fridge on one C. D is a microwave and stove. E is a downstairs furnace. F is the upstairs furnace. Those are 15 amps, right? Yeah. G is a garage GFI. H is the living room plugs. I is the garage lights. And J is my wife's study room, okay? And those, the three, the last three, H, I, J, are the GFCIs, okay? Actually, I could probably just set those for my test. Okay. And down here, the other 50 amp plug, what do I got? I got upstairs AC in, on 130 amp, right? Uh, backyard gate, the washer, tankless hot water heater, okay? Master bath, upstairs living, downstairs bathroom, master bedroom lights, kitchen lights, and you can see I have a lot of GFIs here, okay? Let's reset these. Previous test. Um, okay, so what we want to do is I want to show you guys this is annoying a simulated power outage so let's just go ahead and um let's cut the power let's say all, all of a sudden we had a power outage right let's go ahead and just turn everything off okay house is completely shut off right there's no power okay tripped so you go here and i can leave it online for now and since there's no power going to it um, i'm going to go ahead and just start the generator so the awesome Duromax, I'll hook it up to liquid propane. Of course, I have a bigger tank. Um, I have a much bigger tank. It's in the side yard, but I'm just using this for now because that one's not filled. It's plugged in right into the 250 amp outlets I mounted. Okay. And um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it. Put a fuel on. Low item mode will be off. Uh, make sure the breakers are off. Master breakers are off. Turn these off. We can turn it on. And let's go ahead and start this puppy. Give it a second. in here that Duromax I changed the bonded neutral to a floating neutral and basically what you have to do sorry it's loud I'm gonna be talking loud you're gonna remove these screws and you're gonna remove this this little screw here and you're gonna remove this panel out and once you remove the panel out I'm gonna put a clip in here you're gonna find like six neutral wires and the six ground wires all connected to a plate with screws remove the neutral wires tie them together and duct tape it, that's all, I mean, and electrical tape it, that's all you gotta do. Then you got a floating neutral. All right, on the Duramax to get a, to unbond the neutral, here's the grounding, where the ground 
and uh, the neutral wires bind. So I just did a test. You gotta, you know, secure all the white wires together, separate from the green wires. Um, I'm gonna find a way to secure this. I might do it in a. Um, I got an idea of how I'm gonna put it in there in a plastic bead, um, not plastic, a metal um, joint box. Basically, I'm gonna have to cut all these off and splice these wires in there. I think it should fit. Be tight squeeze, but I think it should fit. And that way, you're using your house. Your house is once it's plugged to your house, that's gonna be your bonded control. breaker can come on. Outlet one. Okay. No power door, right? Outlet two. Let's just go ahead. Why don't we just go ahead and um, start switching it over. Can't do this in real time, but I can't. Sh I wish I could show you the camera. I don't have two cameras right now. Um, but let's go ahead and flip it over. So let's turn. Uh, let's turn the AC on. I'll go for AC, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and flip everything on. Generator, right? You, you can hear it. Just kind of revved a little bit. Cool. Turn the garage lights on. Cool. All right. So now you can see. Everything's running on the generator right now as we speak. The house breaker is still off, okay? And right now we're running 1.5 kilowatts. Let's go ahead and make sure the ACs are running. Give the, give the ACs a second. Right now my Wi-Fi is probably just kicking on. Hey, right now I'm looking at the upstairs um, control unit and it says system is cooling right now. So the upstairs AC is blowing. Just wanna confirm and give you guys with that. Multiple parts of my house are running. The breaker is off. Master bedroom's on. I've got the, uh, the hot water heater is running. I'll show you guys that. Downstairs kitchen is powered. Um, sorry, it's a mess. It's just a mess in my house right now. We're remodeling um, and just getting rid of stuff. But yeah, no, the essentials are on. Like what you saw me show you in the ProTrans, it's all working. Bridge is working. This one, okay, so Wi-Fi signal lost, remind me later, done. So this one's cooling is on, it's working. Um, stove is working, microwave is working. Uh, washer is working. Hot water heat is working. Uh, people are probably more curious about what is the draw on the Duramax with both ACs running. 7.4 kilowatts. That's on low idle mode, so it can basically, it can handle that. Every circuit I put on there can handle the draw. I really could probably, um, probably have bought a smaller system. I think nine kilo, a uh, 9,000 watts system would have been totally fine. You can see things running. It's still off, okay? So everything works good. Um, it's kind of how I intended it to work. It's, I don't know, it's semi-quiet. That's why I was wondering if I get a, if I got in a small unit, it would be as loud, but with that garage door closed, this is kind of a drone, right? But other than that, I do like the unit. It's just a big mother. Uh, yeah. So you guys can see, um, I, this is where I put my Duramax when it's not in use. 
keep it inside the garage. Uh, garage is not very organized right now. I have a car, I have a car project going on, but a lot of stuff is kind of messed around, but it, it doesn't take too much space up. I mean, I still have space for my workout garage gym. This is usually tucked in the corner of my welder, but yeah, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, my home generator kit. I plan to use this for other projects, camping, whatnot. Um, like I said, you have to unbond the bond in neutral. But if you want to use it and use power tools, just get a bonding plug, man. They're off of Amazon. They're super cheap. Uh, if you do it the way I do it, you can put. You can either buy a 115 bonding plug, you can buy a 30 amp bonding plug. It doesn't really matter. Um, we can buy 50 amp and it'll it'll bond every other circuit. So just you need one. It's really simple. Um, and there's plenty of YouTube videos on that you could do. Use a multimeter. Well, obviously, before you try using it on your with your Pro Trans, um, make sure you use a multimeter and just double check that you unbonded it correctly. Um, it's very easy to do. So yeah, if you have any questions, it's a Max 1600. Great, great, uh, great system.